So what if I told you that with just a few minutes of your time and a couple hundred dollars a month, you can make millions in the future? Now you may say this is impossible, but it's not. And you can do just this by investing into the stock market at a young age. I've been doing it for a short time and I can already see the benefits of how it will impact my future and who doesn't want to be a millionaire. This is why you should invest into the stock market. This topic will include how the stock market works, benefits of investing, good companies to invest with, and one common misconception that often hurts people. So how does the stock market work? So the stock market is a conglomerate of thousands of companies. Now, Chris Lehman, who is the author of Rich People Things, says that few forces in American life are as anxiously monitored and as ill understood as the index of investor trade volume that, for most professional and civilian dwellers of the Republic of Finance, defines the overall performance of the U.S. economy. Now, I know that was probably difficult to grasp, so I'll make it sound a little bit more reasonable. So the way the stock market works is that Companies will give up portions of themselves in return for our investment. So when a company does great, then we do great. When a company does poorly, we do poorly. So it's mutually advantageous, but it's also mutually disadvantageous. But the best way to work the stock market is being smart. So there are two ways to invest that I will talk about. The first one is through individual companies. If I invest in an individual company, it's investing in like Nike, Adidas, or McDonald's, those big companies. Now, this one's a little bit riskier because if they do poorly, then you do poorly. However, you can invest in something called a mutual fund. And these mutual funds include NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, S&P 500. And these mutual funds involve and envelop hundreds of other companies. So, for example, if there are 100 companies in NASDAQ and 95 of these companies do great, but five do poor, you're not really going to feel the effects of the companies that did poorly. However, you're going to feel the effects of the 95 that did great. That's why this is the smartest and best investment. Now, investing is all about being patient and being smart. And that's how you get the most benefits from investing. So what are the benefits of investing? So the most obvious benefit is getting a positive return on your investment. So, What this means is that you are getting more money back than what you put in. And this is the end goal for everyone. This is what everyone wants. Now, the best way to do this is with the help of compound interest. So how compound interest works is that a company's interest rate will accumulate over time with in combination with how much money you have within them. So, for example, if I have and buy $100 worth of shares in Apple and they have a 10% interest rate, After one year of me leaving that uh, $100 in there, it will compound interest and become $110. Now, if I do it another year after that, it will become $121 because of that 10% interest rate. And this is how you can make the most money without having to do anything. Now, another benefit is that you're helping the economy. And the economy was doing its best since the 1960s. And according to Bill Powell of Newsweek, the unemployment was at 3.7%, the lowest rate since 1969. Now, this was, taking, this was taken in 2018. However, it, the economy was doing phenomenal in 2019, the best it's ever done. Now, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, the economy is suffering. And the economy is a direct reflection of how well the stock market is doing. So right now, people are pulling their shares out of the stock market and it's hurting the economy because there's no money circulating through it. Now, this is a great time for us to invest because that means stocks are now low. For example, Nike the other day I saw was at $66 a share when they're normally around $90. So when the stock market and the economy rebounds, you're going to make up all that money plus that 10% interest. So it's only going to help you. Now, this is all about being patient and smart. Remember, I'm going to talk about being patient and being smart all the time. So last thing is good companies to invest with and that one common misconception that hurts people. So what are good companies to invest with? So good companies to invest with are ones that increase and help support your investment portfolio and make it better. Those companies include companies like Charles Schwab, Robinhood, Acorns, if you're a DOD, USAA, these are great companies to invest with. And now is a great time to invest as well because they usually charge an 8% service fee. However, many companies no longer charge that service fee. So now all of your money that is going to buying shares will go to that instead of that 8% to the people that are helping you. Now, one common misconception that hurts a lot of people in the end is that they think that they can predict 
the stock market. And that's not true. So Tom Bradley of the Edmonton Journal says, the reality is we have zero ability to predict the market for anything shorter than five years. Even if it were possible to reliably forecast thousands of political, economic, structural, and behavioral factors, it would also be necessary to determine how they interact. Now, if you're going into this trying to predict the stock market, you're going to get burned. This is not the best way to do it. Now, I know that there is some sort of financial risk being taken while investing, and that's going to happen. However, being patient and being smart about what you're doing with your money is there's almost zero risk. You almost eliminate the risk if you're being patient and being smart. So investing can be a surefire way to secure a future for yourself, for your family, for your kids. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of motivation and insight after I covered how the stock market works, the benefits of investing, some common misconception, and good companies to invest with. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you take this information and begin your investing career. Thank you.